this recording. Hi, my name is Tamara Pennington. I am an AP biology teacher in Windsor, Colorado, and today I am going to show you a few steps to prepare for the C. elegans uh, chemotaxis lab. This is a new lab put out by BioRad, and it is um, their version of the animal behavior. So at first, um, as you can tell, I have an Erlenmeyer flask. I put in 400 mils of distilled water. They give you a little pouch of the MGM agar. Um, I just simply open the pouch, poured it in, and let it come up to boiling. After it boils for a couple of minutes, uh, you want to cool down the temperature but still leave it in its liquid state. And so I have prepared a water bath over here at 50 degrees. And I am just going to keep uh, my agar in the water bath at 50 until I am ready to work with it further. Go ahead and cut. Okay, for my second step, I need to prepare some ampicillin. So let me show you this vial. Uh, this is the ampicillin, which is lyophilized. Uh, so it's basically dehydrated. I'm going to rehydrate right now. So in this little brown vial, because it is sunlight sensitive, I'm going to add the C. elegans wash buffer, which comes exactly as you see it right now. And so we want to add 0.5 mils of the C. elegans wash buffer. So I have my pipette set. Simply going to open this up. Uh, depress. Suck up my five, uh, 0.5 mils. Open up the dehydrated ampicillin. Insert the wash buffer carefully. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop the little top back on and shake it up, and we are rehydrating the ampicillin. And I'm just going to let this sit for just a second, and then we're going to add it to some of our agar. So now it's time for us to go ahead and pour the agar into our plates. And so I have 40 plates set up on my uh, sterile lab table, and the instructions ask us to label each of our plates with the letters NGM, which is the type of agar. So very simply, uh, don't label the lids. The lids can spin and move all over the place. So I'm just gonna pick one up. I can tell this is the bottom because it fits. The top always fits over like so. Pick one up, go to the bottom, and then just carefully label NGM like that. And do this to all 40 of your plates. Okay, so now we're just about ready to pour our plates, but we have to do a couple more things to our um, NGM light agar. So this is kind of a fine line. After you boil it, you need the temperature to cool down enough where you can add your ampicillin um, without degrading it, um, harming it because it's temperature sensitive. And so as you can see, I had the water bath set for 50 degrees Celsius and my agar has just been in there. So it's definitely cool to the touch, but as you can see, it's still in its liquid form. And so now we're gonna add two more things to it before we pour. Uh, this is our vial of the ampicillin, which has been reconstituted with the C. elegans wash buffer. And so right now, I'm simply going to pipette this back up. Maybe. Let's try it again. Hmm. Okay, or not. We're simply going to pour it in. And let's make sure we got every drop of that. And then uh, this kit also comes with this little vial of cholesterol. So now that our agar is cooled down, we're going to add the cholesterol as well. And as you can see, it's a pretty full vial. And I think we're going to just skip the pipetting and go ahead and pour it right in. Okay. And we are just going to shake it up, make sure that the cholesterol and the ampicillin are evenly distributed. Remember, the ampicillin is going to prevent just any bacteria from growing on our plates. Um, the bacteria that I do want to grow has an amp-resistant gene in it, and so that's going to help us select for just the bacteria that we intentionally want to grow. They'll be a food source for our C. elegans. Okay, so it looks evenly distributed. As you can tell, it's all liquid. And now we're going over to the 40 plates that we just labeled NGM, and we're going to go ahead and pour. And we're going to shoot for about 10 milliliters per plate. Um, my rule of thumb is when I have enough to just barely cover the bottom, that's when I call it good. So I'm going to head over and start pouring. 
So now we're going to pour the plates. As you can see, we've got our NGM on the bottom. Um, and we're going to pour this batch all at one time. And so I am quickly going to lift the lids off and just set them right to the side. And initially, you can be very diligent and measure out 10 milliliters of agar and make sure you have the right amount. When you get good, after you've done hundreds, maybe thousands of plates, um, you can kind of eyeball it. So my rule of thumb is when it just about covers the bottom, I stop. And they're not exact, but they're certainly close enough. And so you can see how pretty efficiently you can pour a row of 10. Okay. Like so. And then I just give them a little swirl to make sure the bottom of the plate is coated. Pop the lid back on. Remember we're working in a sterile environment as far as we can control. We've cleaned the lab benches off with our uh, alcohol mixture. And then we just cover the plates as quickly as possible. them set up. Okay, and it is that simple to pour your plates. Okay, so to finish this off, um, these are light sensitive. They need to cure for two days and they should be in a dark spot, which clearly I don't have right here at my lab bench. So I am simply covering them with some uh, paper, some paper towels. Hopefully that'll be dark enough and our plates will set. As soon as the worms come in, uh, they will be ready to be plated and that's really all there is to it. So I hope everyone found this helpful and please give this kit a shot. It is not as intimidating as it may look uh, at first. Thanks.